Here we go. Ephesians chapter 5. We're going to start with verse 15 and we'll just read a little bit. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. How many times do we ask ourselves that every day? What is the will of the Lord? <clears throat> and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Giving thanks always for all things unto God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. And probably the all-time favorite verse. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. Ooh, you've just made your target for the feminist movement. <laughs> I know. Even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. And then we need to skip a few verses. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's read in its entirety, please. No admission of the word. No admission. It says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. You know, I'm going to jump in here mm -hmm. for a minute since we. this is such a hot verse for so many people. And yet I see women being taught over and over the evils of the submit yourself to your husband. And they don't even understand by fighting that scripture. I mean, what woman doesn't want a man to love her the way that you just described? I mean, I, I don't know of a... Well, that's what I, I, I did want to talk about. That. Okay, I'll, I'll be quiet. No, that's all right. I just, I just, because they just stop. They, they, they take what they don't like and they stop and they apply it and see how oppressed women are. Well, women are oppressed even with the feminist movement at its right, height today. So. Yes, and I agree. And when a man loves a woman the way that you just described, and she submits herself the way that the word says, there's harmony. Now, there are men that don't adhere to that. Well, but, but, but don't use them as the, the norm yeah. for a Christian, for a true Christian. The abuse comes in you know, whatever. You, know, you could have the... But we'll just go back to husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, you know, God Almighty. Loved, loved uh, his church so much that he robed himself in flesh, came to this earth in the form of who? Man. In the form of Jesus. Jesus. Um, but he could look eyeball to eyeball, you know, with his church, you know. But he could hold with his own hands and his own arms, he could love people, hug them, hold them. Even as a child, he could look eyeball to eyeball with his childhood playmates, you know. Um, God loves his church so much 
that he did that, you know. And not only that. And some people are like, he died for me. He died for me. And, and some people and he, are like, hmm? yeah. Yeah. some people are like that, but he did. Yeah. Um, you know, then, <coughs> you know, he allowed himself to be um, beaten, put on the cross, you know. He loved yeah. his church. So much. And I think the kind of trust I didn't die. Because his spirit was still alive. His spirit was still alive, yes, yes. Uh, but he just, you know, he loved his church so much that he did that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, and obviously that's the way he, he made for us to spend eternity with him. You know, it's, husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loves the church and gave himself for it. So what does that tell husbands? Love your, love, love your wives like, like the Lord loves the church and die for it. Yeah, the word says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. Yeah. But what are husbands supposed to do to the for the wives? We're love supposed them. to love them. You know. Does God get um, does his love for his church change? No. Does God get unhappy and displeased with his church? He does. God sometimes go, what are they doing? What are they thinking? Not sometimes. A lot of times. Yeah, I'm I, sure. I'm sure he does. And um, then husbands and wives do the same thing. Sometimes husbands and wives go to each to themselves about each other. What is he thinking? Or what is she doing? Um, but but my love for your mama never changes. You know? Does she make me mad sometimes? Sure she does. I do? Sometimes. Oh. You hit it Remember so well. Time? <laughs> but you know, and, and I know I make mama upset. Christ loves his church so much that he went to the cross, you know. And husbands we need to love our wives as much as Christ loves his church. Um, you know, Christ wasn't um, contrary and argument, argument. Argumentative. I can't even say that word. <laughs> I can't, I can't make, so I'll say that word. <laughs> Argumentative. Uh, you know, he wasn't arguing and stuff and you know, just carrying on. Um, but he loved people. Yeah. You know, I can uh, I can imagine how much better so many families would be if husbands, you know, would love their wives like Christ, you know, loves the church. Um You know, uh, 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 We'll say, we'll say, uh, you know, the husband or dad comes home from work. Maybe he's had a bad day at work, just coming home grumpy. And all he wants to do is rah, 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 to the children or to the wife or whoever. And well, when he walks in the door and he sees his loving wife, and looks into her eyes. That can change. That does change. That does change your grumpy attitude or complaining or whatever. Just seeing the, the loving look in, in her eyes or in her voice. Yeah, in her voice. In the same way with with uh, with a, a, a wife um, coming home to uh, to the husband. Maybe she's had a hard day with the children or or at work, or whatever, and um, they 
just uh, listening to her husband, seeing the love that he has for her in his eyes. And that goes a long ways. It goes a long ways. It goes farther than Timbuktu. Farther than Timbuktu. It does. Um, I can, you know, I, I can imagine how much better off so many families would be if, if husbands would love their wives as much as Christ loved the church. And wives love their husbands like just love the church. Mm-hmm. Uh, and children. And children. And you know, just but you know, we don't see that type of stuff. No, we live now, I'm in. not saying that it's not there, but we, the media, I guess, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they like to uh, show the negative side of, of everything. But, uh, but just in the news, you know, we'll hear so often times of you know, broken families and drugs and, you know, alcohol and, you know, whatever. Um, you know, whatever. Gambling, I just whiskey. Well, I think too. In this day and age, we have we have things that are as destructive, but not labeled as evil. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we live in a world that uh, one of the things I see a lot on the internet for the the thumbnails that come up on YouTube talking about self love. There's this this push, and has been this push, and it's becoming more vocal about self love, loving yourself. Well, that unfortunately. Yes, that's true to an extent. We have to love ourselves. Well, we do. Because if we loathe ourselves or if we dislike ourselves, we can't let God move in our lives. But this type of self-love is to put oneself above everyone else. So if, if hubby comes home grumpy, bad day, and mm -hmm. he introverts into his world of social media or sports mm -hmm. or you know snapping at the kids taking his meal and sitting in front of the tv mm -hmm. um he's he's definitely got self-love going on and not worried about edifying his family or getting beyond his own personal needs and if if mama has had a bad day and starts grumping at hubby as soon as he comes in instead of realizing you know what maybe he needs some attention maybe he needs needs to unwind and there's right. there's such a lack of unity of uniting and such a push for self edification that the alcohol Satan doesn't need to use the alcohol or the gambling as much as he used to. Well, I remember I remember an old commercial. There there's more than more than one, but I can't think of one right now, but um talking about self. Um and certainly don't endorse it. But this buds for you. Yeah. <laughs> remember? Do yes. you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> and maybe maybe they still use that slogan or or, or I don't whatever. Know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, you remember Ray Bolt's song? This bloods for you. This bloods for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's been they've been pushing self for for so long. And that is so destructive. Yeah, lose self-control, and uh, you know we used to have the morality, you know, moral foundation in this country of self-control, and now it's self-will, and it does. It's just it destroys the families as much as. Well, I remember you know years ago when we were going into a, a store, and the family got out of the car. Oh, and, I you know, across the parking lot from us. And I assume the father and the children were, I don't know how old. Um, they were about Zebulon's age and Simi's age. Yeah, they were young children. And the father was probably in his late 20s, early 30s. Mm -hmm. um, just yelling profane things. I just, oh my goodness. That's, Mm -hmm. Yeah, just horrible, horrible words to these children. But anyway, uh, that's... Uh, Mama was there too, though. You know, and that yeah, it's I, like, you stand you know, there and you look at that and think, how could you even... You get in the midst of a family dispute. Uh, it wasn't a dispute. I, don't, I guess I don't know what we would call it. Bullying? The dis 
And he's just yelling at them kids. Top of his lungs. If he didn't care in public, what goes on at, at home? home? You know? No. But, uh, there used to be laws. You get arrested for profane talk because yeah, it because yeah. it's destructive. It's yeah. destructive, and we'll get to the point in our society that we can say anything to our families and not even think about it. And, and Christians do it. Christians are profane, and it's like yeah. then you better stop and identify yourself and see if you're really you know if you're really following the laws of Christ. The yeah, acting like that at home that's or probably worse. Yeah. yeah, I think the sad thing too is that most people don't even have a clue mm -mm. that they're they're setting the precedence. And I mean that to me that was an I hope that's an extreme case the way he was yelling, but but I know that it's not uncommon for a parent to call a child a name or just swear, even if they're not name calling, if they swear at him, you know, they could they could tell him to move there in a profane mm -hmm. way or you know, what are you doing in a profane way and i mean right. when you say right. those things there is anger there if the husband talks to the wife like that yep. or the wife talks to the husband like that they're just yep, they're they're teaching they're setting up a, a, a atmosphere yeah in their home well and i think that's you know yeah and that's i mean where, where, where do the children learn from right yeah they're peers from school um uh, but from the parents. From the, but know. also what the parents allow in the home, whether it's through song, because there's there's anger and oh, yeah. yep. lack of yep. love in songs and, and... Things they watch. Watch, yeah. Um, listen can, to, yeah. Um, yeah, it's... And, uh, yeah. Back to, you know, husbands loving your wives. Um, well, I mean, I, but I think, I think that that... that you know, connects because does, how well, yeah, Christ does, got sure. angry. The example of Christ getting angry was in the temple. Otherwise, he always used self-control. I mean, he 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 could be stern, he could be direct, but it was always done in love, mm -hmm. without letting emotion or anger get control. Mm -hmm. You know, and we need to communicate in that way. We can have we're going to have problems and be upset with each other, but we need well, to do it in a. <clears throat> Well, that's what... Sacrificial way. Yeah, you know, when husbands and wives, um, families, um, we do disagree. We do have um, disputes. You know, we just become poor people and we have our own thoughts and whatnot. And, um, you know, I'm, I know, I know God's got to get angry with us. Unhappy and... But he still shaking loves his him. head. And, but he still loves us. But he still loves us. Oh yeah, absolutely. He does, without a doubt. You know, we don't. We don't. Uh, or God doesn't love us um, according to you know, his emotions. You know, for oftentimes people love God according to their emotions Very how, true. how their emotions mm -hmm. are and that's that's not healthy what are emotions? the way we feel if you feel happy things are good huh or if things are good you are happy when things are bad you're sad or angry or angry um, just because something doesn't go the way we want it to We need to watch our attitude, our emotions, because our emotions will deceive us. Um, <clears throat> just because things don't go the way we would like them to, does that mean we stop loving God? Or trusting God? Sometimes people do. Sometimes people do. But we should not. We don't, we don't love our wives or... I don't love you guys just on good days. On days that you two drive me crazy. Oh, are there days like that? I don't. When when you guys do nothing but make me smile all day long, does that make me love you even more? Um, I 
it does not because I love you so much already. Okay. Um, Daddy doesn't love you guys on, on his emotions. Daddy loves you because... You're his. The Bible said... Because you're mine. I love you guys. I just the love Bible you guys. Said so. and, it, and it doesn't matter if... You know, um, I'll always love you guys. Even when you drive me crazy. You're even, you know, daddies are even <laughs> commanded in the Bible to love. Women just have to submit to their husbands. Well, you know, I was... Do they have to love too? Well, I, I believe that as a, as a wife, as a Christian wife, when we follow, when we have a man who follows the word of God, that you can't help but to love him. Yeah, okay. we're going to... Let's just skip a little bit here. Um, I'm going to skip down. I'm just going to go to uh, chapter 6. We should all know chapter 6. Children, obey, obey your parents. <laughs> and the Lord, <laughs> for this is right. And there's hmm? another verse saying... Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment, with promise. Well, what's the other verse that I just want to say? That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. The other verse is, fathers, and ye fathers, do not bring your sons provoke to provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Do not, <clears throat> do not bring them to shame. Do not embarrass them. Do not. Do not yell profanities um, at them. To yell profanities at them. Um, but you know we are to children are to obey their parents. And right? fathers are should not bring the children to wrath. Right. We're, we shouldn't. <clears throat> we shouldn't be raising you guys. To make you guys angry and want to do bad stuff, you know. Um, and I think that's <clears throat> an underlying problem with a lot of society is not just fathers, but they do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Be little. We've known. Uh, we've known men that have belittled. Children, you know. Known women that have done that. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, What's belittled mean, Daddy? What I was just talking about. Um, Make you, you know. Making you feel bad. Calling you names, making you feel not very smart, like you're no good. Um, yeah, just. And that that's not healthy. That doesn't make. And it's sin. So it is sin. Um, and that young person's gonna grow up thinking that. That's the way to do it. Um, well, also, I, I, even if they don't believe that, I think because when we do that to people we're supposed to love, it confuses them. Why are you so angry at me? Why would you? You're supposed to a, love me and protect kind of a me. Conditional love. When I perform well, everything's okay, and when I mess up, I have your wrath to deal with for who knows how long. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And and I guess we'll you know accidents happen, don't they? Spilt milk, broken things, things yep. dropped things. Mama and Daddy don't get mad at you guys when something gets broke or whatever. Unless we've been told and to leave it alone. That's gonna you know, we don't play with this or that. And and, and you do, and then it gets broken. And then it's a little bit different. To. You get a talking to, yeah. But if accidents happen. That's, you know what? Husbands, love your wives. You know, as Christ loved the church. That's so what we need to practice more and more and more. Mm -hmm. we put that into practice. Mm -hmm. Build much stronger families. I can't love my wife because I don't have one. But you can be in practice. 
in the chip. Mm. Your future life. Mm. Oh, no, Praying for her. Praying for her. Praying for yourself as a husband and a father. Mm. Get I'll, ready, boy. I'll daddy treat mama. Very good. <laughs> Say that louder. Very good. <laughs> How's Mama treat Daddy? Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I got a, yeah, got a yeah, hand gesture with it. Right. Got a flourish. <laughs> got a flourish. Saying. Let's, let's. Now, Father, we love and praise you today. We just, you know, God, we thank you so much for loving us, you know, the way you do, God. Just thank you, Lord. I thank you for loving us, loving us, even. You know, when we mess up and, and fail, and, and Father, it, uh, I could just pray, Father, that I would love my wife, you know, as, as you love the church, Lord. Help me to do that, Father. Help me to be more and more like that, Lord. I just pray that these young men would grow up and, you know, love their wives as Christ loves the church. And that their wives would submit. Them. And love. And love. Them. You know, when, when somebody's loving like they're supposed to be, it's easy to submit the way, you know, people are supposed to. Father, we just uh, we, we just thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love today, Lord. God, we give you praise and honor. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.